I was having an issue with Final Cut Pro 7 uh, on El Capitan whereby some of my sequences uh, just weren't wasn't able to sort of play back any of the sequence if it was in render status um, if any of the layers had opacity dropped so if I had for example two color solids as a kind of sort of a lower third uh, above another video I found that playing it back in the sequence uh, either sort of through scrubbing through the lower thirds would not appear um, also it would kind of be a bit screwy so I just here's a, a quick example and this is by the way using uh, Final Cut Pro 7.0.3 on El Capitan 10.11.2 um, but also it affected right back to 10.11.1 I hadn't discovered it um, it's a very simple thing to fix as far as I can see and I have done very well um, so here's one example of me grabbing a couple of colour solids and you can see the effect it's got. Normally it plays okay, however, as soon as I put some normal video in there captured off my Canon camera, it has a very strange effect indeed, either not playing it or scrubbing it through, it has kind of blinks and flashes. turns out that the easy setup setting for my Final Cut Pro set to DV PAL, to UK based, um, but as soon as I dropped my footage in I was getting uh, sequence settings of um, 1920 by 1080 square pixels, field dominance none, 25 frames per second and the compressor was Apple ProRes 4444. Now and so drag, capturing a clip off my Canon camera, dropping it into a sequence would adjust the sequence settings to those um, settings. I was just interested in why it was choosing Apple ProRes 4444 and I dropped that to 4222 instead and I found that it wasn't giving the problems anymore. So the problem was when I was capturing footage of my Canon camera it was choosing the 4444 um, setting instead. So what you need to do is you go to log and transfer. As usual, you have to do that twice under El Capitan. A bit of an annoyance, but not too bad. And then at the top, at the top of the log and transfer screen, there is some import preferences, and here you can choose 4222 instead. Do that, and you'll find Final Cut Pro seems to work a lot happier under El Capitan. I'm not sure why that might be, but anyway, this is a quick fix.